at the tool. So uh, today I uh, discuss about the machine uh, called Dragonfly. It's a machine from uh, Israel company Holiday Mansion. So I presented here uh, the machine, uh, printing uh, material, uh, printing process, uh, some uh, basic uh, design rules for this uh, machine. Uh, uh, this machine has uh, re really unique uh, capabilities uh, and uh, some uh, disadvantage. So uh, we have uh, sol soldering uh, requirements, uh, some limits, and uh, I have a small case study of uh, USB stick. So. Uh, this is a printing system overview. Uh, on the feature, you can see uh, inside uh, in the printer, you can see uh, printing head group. It's uh, the machine. It's uh, inkjet uh, based technology. So you have two uh, printing heads. Uh, then you have a print clutch or, or print tray with. Uh, polymer substrate for the PCBs and uh, uh, infrared uh, lamp for centering. Uh, this machine has uh, includes uh, two uh, technology together. It's uh, photopolymer printing and uh, centering for each material. So we have uh, one material, it's called uh, AG site. It's a uh, conductive uh, ink. It's uh, made from for, uh, silver nanoparticles in uh, uh, liquid solvents. So uh, the principle of uh, working with this uh, material, you jet the ink and then uh, evaporate uh, uh, the solvents. And after you sinter the nanoparticle in a solid uh, layer. So this material has 30% uh, of uh, conductivity uh, of um, copper. Uh, so this uh, conductivity uh, really depends on uh, PCB design on a large uh, area. It's a uh, different conductivity with, you know, and uh, on small tastes. Uh, the second material is uh, the electric for uh, the build uh, the PCB. So it's a UV polymer cured with uh, UVA uh, light with uh, great heat resistance. In uh, short terms, uh, like uh, soldering. It's uh, up to 200 uh, degrees of Celsius. In long term, it's something between 100 and 150 uh, Celsius. Uh, this material uh, is uh, semi-flexible. You can paint uh, thin, uh, thin layers and have a uh, flexible plate, but uh, in uh, some case, it's uh, fragile and it's uh, UV active. So if it's uh, on uh, the daylight, the uh, material degrees. So a uh, strategy uh, for the printing is uh, the printer produced super small uh, drops of ink, uh, something like pixel. And uh, it has uh, 36 uh, micrometers in uh, XY plate, so that is the uh, diameter of uh, these uh, small drops. And to make uh, conductive or isolate uh, trays, you must use a minimum three drops uh, together. So the minimum trays uh, on this printer is 110. Uh, micrometers. So here it's uh, two pictures. Uh, it's a 
calibration sample before a real uh, painting and the small base it's, uh, it has uh, 135 uh, micrometers so on, uh, on the uh, magnified pipe picture you can see this is a layer of uh, silver and on this layer is painted uh, the di dialectic uh, material so you can see on this picture, uh, something like a halo about of uh, the silver and some small, really, really small uh, silver particles around the base. So uh, the printer works with uh, two different layer height. It uh, in a uh, printing process. We have layer height for the CI, uh, the silver ink, uh, conductive ink, and it's uh, 0 0.27 uh, micrometers. And uh, for dielectric, it's a uh, much uh, bigger layer height. It's uh, 1.9 uh, micrometers. So to make one uh, complete uh, layer of paint, you must uh, put uh, something around 10 uh, layer of uh, conductive ink and one layer of uh, dielectric ink. So uh, the process layer has a thickness of uh, dielectric uh, ink layer. So uh, this process uh, works uh, in two steps. First uh, go uh, the conductive layer or uh, conductive inks. So first the machine prints 10 conductive layers. Then around this uh, conductive trace was uh, printed one layer, one thicker layer of uh, dielectric. So uh, this is uh, some uh, design rules or uh, you can break the rule, of course. So this is only a recommendation to a good job, do good print. So you can see a minimal uh, clearance space and uh, minimal trace uh, uh, thickness or conductive layer thickness in your uh, design. This rule is, uh, so is used for uh, two standard, two, uh, two dimensional uh, designs from any PCB design and software. Uh, the machine has uh, also some unique technical capabilities. Uh, one and the biggest is uh, 3D shaped uh, PCBs. So you can have a PCB with uh, different uh, layer, uh, different uh, thickness inside. You can see on the picture we have a USB stick with three or five uh, thickness level. Uh, also, you can uh, uh, put uh, some uh, components on uh, on the edge of the PCB. On uh, it's not so good. Uh, on, on this, it's a small resistor uh, soldered on uh, the edge of the PCB. So you have uh, uh, soldering pads on top, on bottom uh, layers of uh, the PCB. Also, you can have uh, soldering pads on uh, sides. Uh, which uh, uh, goes to the second uh, uh, capability and it's a vertical stacking of uh, some uh, chips. So you can paint uh, uh, different layer heights and uh, put chips uh, to, off, to top of uh, each other. And uh, the last, uh, it's uh, totally free for a uh, 3D shape. So you can print in uh, 3D coils, uh, some antennas, capacitors, resistors. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, this machine or the material or PCBs from this machine has uh, some uh, soldering recommendations. So for soldering all, it's uh, capable to use only uh, low temp uh, solder soldering uh, materials uh, with uh, some uh, maximal soldering uh, ion temperature about 230 degrees. And uh, if you want to uh, make a reflow soldering, you must, not must, it's a suggestion to uh, paint uh, from dielectric. This is a uh, uh, RM, RCM uh, assembly. It's a uh, reflow compression uh, mask. It's uh, assembled. Uh, two pieces and uh, the uh, PCB. You put the PCB inside and compress with uh, some bolts, oh. uh, and you uh, have uh, protected uh, the PCB behind the uh, uh, temperature uh, for the re reflow uh, process. Uh, this uh, machine, Dragonfly, is capable of paint from two types of uh, data. You can uh, have standard uh, layer PCB from any designer in uh, Gerber and uh, Excel files. Uh, or you can have a full 3D model, which is on the picture. Uh, it's an assembly of uh, two STL models. Uh, one STL model is for the conductive ink, and the second one is for uh, dielectrical. So this uh, two STL must be uh, precisely aligned with no uh, no gap between them, but not uh, with intersections. So intersection in this file of cost some uh, put, cost putting. Uh, both, materi both material on the same spot and uh, some problems in the process stability. So, uh, Dragonfly has uh, some uh, limits and disadvantage of uh, this new machine. It, uh, one uh, big uh, disadvantage for us is uh, the bottom uh, layer must be flat. Or in uh, the whole uh, the me meshy uh, dragonfly doesn't have uh, any support uh, material, so everything must uh, grow up from the surface up. So you don't you, you can't uh, make uh, any overhangs on your PCB. So uh, other. Uh, this disadvantage is uh, because uh, you have uh, two different uh, pro uh, layer thickness, you must com compare the layer together, and uh, in uh, global uh, you can have uh, different heights on the top uh, surface. You can have uh, the um, printing pad, uh, soldering pads uh, higher than uh, the mask or uh, some issue with uh, vias and uh, other. So here is uh, our small uh, case study of uh, USB stick with uh, 3D geometry. Uh, we modeled this uh, piece in uh, Inventor. It's, uh, 3D designer for mechanical parts. So uh, here is a uh, space, here is a uh, side uh, soldering pads for side mounting uh, components. And uh, all places is uh, internal in, uh, in the dielectric uh, model. So the trays inside has uh, Dimensions uh, 0 0.4 uh, in uh, in wide and uh, 0 0.04 millimeter in thickness. 
So we paint the uh, we paint twenty five uh, sticks uh, in the one paint. This uh, this is a picture photo of the paint. You have uh, the sticks here, and this is a uh, base uh, CI material for the paint. So the complete paint time it's something around two days and uh, you have here a consumption of uh, the material so for uh, this stick it's uh, 0 0.8 uh, milliliters of CI and uh, 25 milliliter of milliliters uh, of DI inks so after uh, the painting we uh, check the uh, traces uh, by using the CT scanner. So we have uh, this is a catch model of uh, the conductive uh, material, and this is uh, the uh, real uh, printed uh, part. So you can see some some bending of the conductive uh, material around the uh, edges of uh, the printer. So, a uh, small conclusion about this. Uh, Dragonfly a machine brings uh, new uh, possibilities uh, in uh, 3D uh, modeling uh, PCBs and uh, some uh, new uh, opportunities for uh, coils, uh, antennas, and etc. And uh, also, this technology is uh, mainly focused on uh, PCB prototyping and uh, development and researching for uh, new possibilities. Uh, in uh, in case uh, that we uh, want to start to uh, make a serial production on uh, this machine. It's uh, super uh, pricey and uh, time consuming. So this machine, it, uh, in this version, is not uh, fast enough to uh, be able to uh, produce at uh, mass production. So thank you for your attention in the uh, first presentation. And Thanks, Thank you, Kuba, and some questions about...